In October 2012, the Geneva-based UN Human Rights Council discussed Switzerland's human rights record as part of its regular country reviews. Some countries found Switzerland could improve in religious freedom. This was mostly the result of a decision to ban the construction of minarets, voted on by the Swiss in 2009. Many Muslims in Switzerland were offended by the ban, but accepted it. They would still be able to worship even without minarets. It turns out what they need is more mosques. During a normal week, existing mosques provide enough space for worshippers. But during important religious celebrations, people sometimes spill out onto the street, like at the Feast of the Sacrifice at the Islam Centre in Bern last October. No, not enough really space, yeah. Our mosque now is very small. Then it's a problem for us because we, in 1976, according to the Muslim in the Rishfais, this book, 500 Muslims were in the whole nation. But now we are having more than 400,000 Muslims. Lack of space has been a problem in Lausanne, Payerne and even in Geneva, which has the biggest mosque in Switzerland. The Bern Islam Centre, one of the largest and most multi-ethnic communities, submitted a project for a new mosque a few years ago, with a cultural and business centre attached. The project was labelled too ambitious by some local press and had the public worried. That spelt the end of it. Since then, no alternative has been found. In a written statement, the city of Bern explained that last spring a city councillor had met the Islam Centre representatives and as an alternative suggested they could use other spaces reserved for special events, since no other property is available for permanent use in the town centre. The Islam Centre people argue that although they want to get out of the converted garage they are currently using, they don't want to go to the outskirts of the city. Ali Osman says a mosque should be visible, not hidden. Many Swiss people also, they are born here like me. I'm born here, I live here, I live with the Swiss people, I work with the Swiss people. I'm also some character of me, I also like Swiss. Uh, I have some uh, typical Swiss characters also. And uh, I feel also like a, like a Swiss. I have no other uh, country where I can say I'm an Indian or like that. And uh, yeah, the other thing is the religion. I, I want to do my religion here uh, uh, as like, like it's uh, normal. Ali Osman's wife grew up in Britain, where the Muslim community is more established. It's hard living here as a Muslim, I think, because there aren't many places to worship. Um, and I think people from outside actually find that odd that where's the mosque here, you know, where can I go to pray? Andreas Tunger, religion researcher at Lucerne University, is aware of the problem. He thinks the United Nations and other international bodies rightly criticise the minaret ban, which he says is discriminatory. But the building of mosques is another issue, because in Switzerland people have the right to object. Uh, to come up very quickly with a complete project and tell the public, well, here it is, uh, take it or leave it. In that case, the public will leave it. <laughs> the Swiss society is not more racist or anything than other societies are. You have the same sort of troubles and problems in Italy, in Spain, in France, in Germany. Uh, the political frame are different in the, those countries. Normally they are more centralized and the, the local people have less possibilities of intervention. The Swiss population is not extremely open to, uh, to welcome foreigners who want to, to stay here and to build their own buildings, their places of worship. Um, but if you are considered and perceived as part of the society, nobody will deny you to, to build a mosque. Andreas Tunger stresses that it is not unusual to run into trouble over plans to erect any large structures with symbolic meaning, whether a mosque, Hindu temple or an Orthodox church. 
Even if your project has been approved as part of a lengthy and complex process, it often takes years before the building is complete and in use. But compromises are being found. The Muslim community in Folketsviel in Canton Zurich have had an easier time of it since they aren't building a new mosque, but have won approval to convert a disused industrial site into a place of worship next year.